I'm back today with favorites for you. December is upon us. It's it's almost, it's practically here. <laughs> Name that movie. We'll talk about that movie in a little bit actually, because it's on the list this year. It's on the favorites list. It's on the favorites list all the time. I don't know why I just said that. Anyway, I am gonna share my lifestyle favorites from the past month with you. With you. This includes clothes and accessories, personal care, home goods, multimedia, tasty treats, and I have a couple of my mommy picks at the end for my baby and my toddler and their favorite things at the moment. So, clothes and accessories. I'm actually wearing all of my favorites today. Uh, I bought a couple of new things. It was literally a couple of new things. It wasn't enough to do a whole haul because I bought three things, but they've become my absolute favorite things and I wear them every day. First of all, the jeans I'm wearing. They are the Cut From The Cloth Diana Skinny Jeans. Now I bought these at Nordstrom and I'm no longer seeing it at Nordstrom, but if I can find them linked somewhere else, I will. I had to mention these because I'm living in these jeans and they, they're like the perfect skinny jean because I'm just, you know, I'm curvy, I've got a big caboose, and, uh, and, you know, I just, I need jeans that are comfortable. As a mom, I'm squatting up and down and kneeling and on the floor playing and up and down and up and down all day long. So they have to have some give to them. They can't be too tight. I want them to have a little bit of a higher waist, but I also want them to look like kind of like I'm trying a little bit at least, you know, I don't need to look like a million bucks every day, but I, you know, I like to wear nice looking jeans and I've been living in these. They are the perfect skinny jean because they're not too tight. They're not too loose. They don't like get so loose as you wear them. They, they kind of retain their shape pretty well. I mean, they do stretch out a little bit, but um, they're great. My only gripe with these is that they, they're dark pigment and the pigment has been rubbing off on like my watch hand and my new shoes, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and I know when I last talked about this issue, somebody told me what to do. Like you use vinegar or something. Can you tell me again? Cause I can't find that comment and I would like to set the dye in these. Um, so if you could tell me how I do that, please do. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, and my other clothing favorite has been this top. I actually have this in two colors. This is from Target and it's their A New Day collection. Um, and it's the cozy knit top. Now this is basically a sweater. They don't call it a sweater, they call it a top, but to me it's it's warm. Like I have, it's 15 degrees today, so it's a good day to wear this, but I typically don't wanna wear a, I can't wear a sweater unless it's a cardigan that I can easily take on and off because I just get so hot so easily. I do get warm in this, like it's warm, but it's not like hot like a sweater. I'm just running around all day, you guys. Mini marathons in my house. <laughs> Uh, this is me running around in my head. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, um, I really like this top. It's cute. It's cozy. My baby loves to snuggle on it. And um, it's long, so it, you know, I don't feel like it's riding up or anything. It's like it's loosey-goosey. It'd be great with leggings, too, if you want to wear it like tunic style. Um, and it's a great price. I think it's actually on sale right now at Target. I thought I saw... I just looked on the on their website to make sure it was still available and uh, I saw it was on sale. And then lastly for accessories, I bought myself a new pair of shoes, my Merrell. I love my Merrell Encores. But they have not I wore I can wear them for like two fall winter seasons and then they fall apart because um, I just wear them into the ground. So I bought a new I tr decided to try out something different. These are the Skechers Easy Going Ankle Boots. They're not actually leather. Um, they're a you know a synthetic uh, upper, but they're really nice. Uh, I wasn't sure how I would feel about them. Uh, my only gripe with them is that you can't take out the insole. But now I, then I think about it, you couldn't take out the insole in the Merrells either, because um, I do have custom orthotics which I just keep in my sneakers. But I really like these um, more than I thought I would. I kind of bought them on a whim. Um, they're warm, but they're not hot. Uh, and uh, they, they're like a fuzzy lining. Um, it's not like shearling or anything like that. It's, it's everything's synthetic, I believe, on these. But um, they're really they're really cozy. They're easy to slip on and off. I like that they come up a bit. The only other bad thing about the Merrells was that they were kind of low in the back as, as a slide. I like that these come up, but I can still slip them on and off without bending down. So if I'm holding a kid in each arm, I can take my shoes off when I get home. We don't wear our shoes in our house. 
uh, and they've got great traction on the bottom and they're, I don't know, they're great. I've been wearing them every day and I've been really enjoying them. I did go up a half a size since my last pregnancy. So I think my feet have settled into a seven and a half, which really is, I was a seven before. It's not that huge of a difference, but now I'm buying, anytime I buy new shoes, well, which is just these at the moment, I'm buying a seven and a half, um, but I can still fit in my old shoes that are kind of worn in and stretched out a bit. So that that's actually worked out fine. For personal care, you guys know I love my bath time. I always have. Uh, I try to make a point of taking a bath one to two times a week, just like a, a special self-care ritual for myself. Um, you know, now with kids, I used to take a bath almost every night in the cold months, but um, I use my evening times to uh, work on stuff or clean or do laundry or things like that or, you know, whatever. Um, so I, ha I kind of just make it May I just try to make a point to do it one to two times a week just for a little R&R. &R. I have talked about Pacha Soap Company before. I talked about them a lot last year. I believe I featured them in my gift guide. They're back with a new line of holiday, um, I feel, they call them froth bombs, which is their like version of a bath bomb um, for this holiday season, which I have been picking up at my local Whole Foods. Uh, and they're great. I've tried the snowflake one, which I really, really liked. I also bought this Starry Night one, which I believe is like a lavender one. The um, snowflake one was kind of minty. It was really nice. And then this Rudy Reindeer, which is actually hot chocolate. Um, this would be great for kids, uh, fun for kids, but also, you know, for any age, really. They've got really good ingredients. They smell really great. They make your bath water, in my experience, all the ones I've tried have, have added kind of a moisturizing element to the bath water without it being like overly oily or anything like that. Uh, and I really, really like them. They're basically the only bath bombs I buy um, lately. And they're, you know, they're pretty, they're like six bucks a pop. They're not inexpensive. I feel like this little one might be a little less expensive. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but uh, so I've asked, um, you know, I've hinted to Santa that I might want some of those in my stocking because um, $6 a bath is expensive. <laughs> but as a nice treat for yourself once or so a week, I think it's a, you know, it's a nice thing to do. Um, kind of make an experience out of it. Uh, so that's my personal care favorite. For home goods, we're all about decorating right now. I'm almost done decorating the house for Christmas. You can kind of see some of my decorations in the background there. I will, yes, I will do a holiday house tour that will come next month. Uh, and I'm also going to do a new home, <laughs> English, a new holiday decor haul um, it, separately from the house tour because I, I bought a lot of new things this year. We've kind of revamped our first floor over the past couple of years, so um, I've kind of um, changed things around a bit. And uh, so I have a lot of new things to share and uh, I thought it would be too long of a video to do that in the haul. So, but today I wanted to share with you one of my absolute favorite things, these lights from Target. It's the Wonder Shop at Target, they're pearl lights. My favorite are these red, white, and iridescent ones. I'll pop in a little, um, I'll show you what they look like. I use them on my garlands, on my banister. We also use some of them out. They're indoor-outdoor safe, so I use them outside as well. Some of our outdoor light um, decor. And they didn't, I don't think they carried them last year. At least I couldn't find them online or in store. And I was so excited to see them online this year. I actually bought them during their Cyber Monday um, promotion and saved a bunch. And I stocked up on a few boxes. Um, so I have a few extra in case they stop making them again. Um, but I really, really like them a lot. And I just love the effect of the globes. I feel like they give off a nice soft light. Um, and uh, I just love the red just a little bit of red, not like a whole strand of red. I like a little bit of red woven in. And like I said, all of my new holiday decor is all my favorites. I'll snap in a couple of little sneaky peeks for you guys uh, here so you can, can kind of see what's going on with that. But I, like I said, I'll do a whole haul and a whole decor tour. So that is coming up next month. Okay, for multimedia, I was like racking my brain like what? What multimedia have I been using that I haven't talked about? Um, I really haven't been even watching much YouTube. I don't really watch TV that much. Don and I have been trying to catch up on Doctor Who, which is always a favorite. I think we're a couple seasons behind. Um, so we, you know, we watch that together. Uh, I haven't read anything. I haven't downloaded any new music lately. But what I have done 
is made a Christmas Spotify playlist of my favorite Christmas songs. Uh, and I thought I would share that with you. So I'll put, I don't know how you share that, if it's a link or if you just search for me by my email. I'm not sure. I'll put information on how to find that below. Maybe it's just a link I can share for you guys. Um, but if you want to know what my favorite Christmas music is, it's like all my top favorites. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm probably going to tweak it a little bit because I'm only like halfway through making it at the moment when filming this, which is going, you know, it's a couple days before I'm going to post this video. So I'm hoping to finish it up by then, but I might um, tweak it a little bit over the course of December as I remember. I'm really just add more stuff to it. <laughs> For tasty treats, I've been talking about this hot chocolate. I feel like I've been talking about it in every video <laughs> for the last month, so I finally thought I would just, it's been a favorite. I have it, not every day, but I would say four or five times a week as my special treat. I allow myself a treat every day. I just, I'm a dessert girl. I cut a sweet tooth and I need to let myself indulge or I'm just, I'm just gonna go crazy on like a box of chocolate or something, you know? <laughs> like if I have just a little bit something or a bigger something every day, then I feel like I'm treating myself um, well. So I'm gonna share this whole recipe with you. I'm gonna talk about a couple of my favorite products that um, kind of play into that first. Uh, this mushroom hot cacao mix from Four Sigmatic. Now, I'm probably the only YouTuber you're gonna see talking about this product who isn't working with this brand. <laughs> um, I bought this because some of my favorite, why is it not focusing on it? There it goes. Some of my favorite YouTubers obviously have sponsorships or connections with these this brand Sports Sigmatic and they've been talking about it and I was like, okay, I have to try it. They sell it at my local Whole Foods. I was like, I love hot cocoa, I'll give it a try. I love this. So I pulled up the website. What this is, it's a mushroom hot cacao mix. So it has cacao in it, coconut palm sugar, so it's already sweetened. I don't need to add any sugar to my hot chocolate when I make this. Um, organic reishi, reishi? Reishi, I don't know how to pronounce this mushroom. <laughs> Extract cinnamon, cardamom, and um, stevia. Uh, so it's very clean ingredients, which is great. The thing with reishi or reishi, I, I'm, I'm so sorry you guys, I don't know how to, how to pronounce anything. You already know that if you've been here a while. Uh, is it's uh, been shown to help support sleep and occasional stress. So I've noticed that I can't really have anything with chocolate in it past three o'clock anymore. My sensitivity to caffeine in both tea and coffee and now the chocolate kind of caffeine is apparently a different kind of caffeine has gone way up. I'm like super sensitive to it. If I have chocolate after three o'clock, I am wide awake at bedtime for like hours. So I tend to have my dessert um, around two o'clock when the kids are sleeping. It feels like a little escape and <laughs> indulgent getaway. Um, but uh, I've been loving this hot chocolate to the cold weather and I will show you how I make it. I make it using um, oat milk, uh, which has been getting increasingly difficult to find. I've been buying it at Target, but I feel like they're they're not getting it some from the supplier. It's a British company and it's just starting to infiltrate the US as far as I know. Um, it's a little challenging to find, but I really love the chocolate oat milk. It's so delicious and that is a little bit sweet too. So again, I don't need to add anything to it. So I just do a cup of the oat milk. I warm it up on the stove. Uh, once it's warm, I whisk in one packet of this. Makes it perfectly deliciously spiced, almost like a, a Mexican hot chocolate with the cinnamon in it. And then I pop in some of my favorite marshmallows, which are these dandies. Now these are um, plant-based, they're vegan friendly, um, totally delicious. They have come in minis and then the regular size. My, I buy the minis mostly for my daughter. What I like to do with my hot chocolate and what I find gets the best fluffy marshmallow, because the thing I like with marshmallows and hot chocolate is how gooey and fluffy they get is I take a regular size, like two regular size marshmallows, and I cut them using my kitchen scissors into four, and it kind of opens them up a bit and makes them even gooier. And then I'll top that with a little, um, a little more cinnamon, and it is divine. If I really want to splurge, I'll add a little bit of my favorite plant-based whipped cream, which is the almond milk by Ready Whip, the whipped topping. It's not whipped cream, it's a whipped topping. Ah, oh, so good. Now I did the math. I don't count calories, but I did the math, and this dessert clocks in, I think, somewhere between 200 and 300 calories. It's like 250 calories, I think, with the whipped cream. 
uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm sorry if I'm not. It wasn't more than that, I don't think. Um, which is kind of my sweet spot for sweets, <laughs> pun intended, um, because that it's an indulgent treat. It's basically my afternoon snack. I, de I generally don't eat anything else between lunch and dinner. Um, and But it's not so much of my calorie bank for the day that I'm like overindulging. Um, so it's kind of my sweet spot to have like a somewhere like a 250 calorie um, sweet spot, like a, a sweet treat. <laughs> like I said, I don't count calories, but um, if you do and you're looking for that kind of information, if that's helpful to you, that's what I do. So, yum. Okay, and lastly for mommy picks. These scarves, I don't really know how to pronounce this brand. I bought these on Amazon. It's the Horv, I don't know, no idea. <laughs> Juggling and dance scarves. I totally, completely, and utterly stole this idea. And by stole, I mean lovingly copied this idea from my friend who is an, a pediatric occupational therapist. She, that was a couple of years ago. Cece wasn't even a year old. And we went to her, her oldest, who is a year older than Cece's um, birthday party. I think it was her first birthday. No, Cece wasn't even born. Was that it? I was just, I was pregnant. I was very pregnant with Charlotte. That's it. It was like three weeks before she was born. And um, the kids were, the kids at the party were playing with this. And sh uh, my friend had them all stuffed into a an empty wipes bin like this. And I was like, mental note, going to keep that in there. So I ordered the scarves on Amazon. I've been using them since Charlotte was an infant. It's Donnie's absolute favorite thing right now. Cece still plays with them. She loves dancing around with them and jumping with them. It is so cute. Donnie loves pulling them out of the the um, box. He hasn't quite figured out how to put them in yet, but he loves pulling them out of the box and he likes to put them on his own head. You don't have to worry so much about these because they are breathable and you can machine wash them. Um, so if they get like full of snot <laughs> or drool or whatever. Um, but I don't know what it is about the having them in the box it makes them so attractive to the toddlers and they love playing they're the infants and they love playing peekaboo boo with them and like I said my toddler loves dancing with them so I had to mention those and then the um, the Grinch Dr. Seuss is how the Grinch stole Christmas we have legit watched this practically every day since October like it's been a couple months. It wasn't even remotely close to Christmas that we were watching this. But Cece just loves this. I think we watched this almost daily up through May of, of the, you know, last spring. Because she just loves it so much. And you know what? I love it too. I can't lie. I, I think it's a great classic. It's short. I feel like the, the Grinch part is somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Um, it's, you know, it's not a long thing. So if you just, you know, want to pop something in while you're trying to do dinner or whatever to entertain the kids, but you don't want them sitting in front of the TV for like a two hour full length film, uh, I think it's a nice option. And Cece really likes the songs in it. She loves, you know, Max, the dog. She loves the baby, the Cindy Lou Who. Um, and now Donnie, you know, who just, he's, he's 10 months old today. Oh, um, oh. He's, you know, he doesn't really watch anything yet, but he will perk up and watch that a little bit when he hears the songs, which is around the age I remember Cece being interested, starting to get interested in, watch, you know, listening to, watching things that have music behind them on the TV. Um, so songs and dancing and stuff. Anyway, those are my favorites for November. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check back tomorrow i have a special video tomorrow for you guys which is unusual for me i don't usually post on the weekends but check back tomorrow special video coming for you and i hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season happy holidays to you and your family uh, and let the holiday fun begin okay you guys thanks for watching take care